Bakit ka takot sa life insurance? My name is Haji Tehuko, your financial educator. You can reach me through email, haji.tehuko at gmail.com or search me at Facebook, Haji Javier Tehuko. Kung bago ka sa channel ko, please don't forget to subscribe, click the bell icon para updated ka sa mga bagong videos ko. Before you watch the video, please find time to read the disclaimer. The purpose of life insurance is simple. If God calls you home today, your kids won't be hungry. Ito yung mga reasons kung bakit takot kumuha ng life insurance sa mga Pinoy. Number one, hindi ko kailangan ng life insurance kasi hindi pa ako mamamatay at bata pa ako. Life insurance is not just for the dead. It helps you with your dreams and goals. But if God forbids and you die on an early age, the proceeds will go to your beneficiary and provide food on the table or education for your children. This is what we call income replacement. Here to the insurance barometer study, life insurance can help meet a wide variety of financial goals. Number one, cover your burial and final expenses, help replace income loss, transfer wealth or live inheritance, pay off debt or mortgage, and pay home expenses. Number two reason, di ba magsasarayang ganyang company? FYI, the insurance companies have been here for hundreds of years. At the same time, insurance companies are regulated by the insurance commission and, are, and there are policies which insurance companies need to comply to continue their operations here in the country. You could visit this site to check the different insurance that is available here in the Philippines. Meron ako insurance. No need to add more. Wow, that's great. That's a very good move. The question is, how many insurance do you have? Is it enough for your family? Here's a method that you could use to determine whether enough yung insurance mo eh or hindi. We call it as the DIME method. DIME method stands for debt, insurance replacement, mortgage, and education. Here's the formula to compute for the insurance coverage. Insurance coverage equals to your annual salary or income multiplied by 10 or your monthly salary Multiply by 12, multiply by 10. Let's say you have 20,000 multiplied by 12 is equals to 240,000 a year. Multiply by 10, that will be equivalent to 2.4 million. Para makasurvive yung family mo for 10 uh, years, you need to have 2.4 million pesos. Let's say multiply na lang natin to into 10%, you get 240,000 pesos that is living on interest. I divide natin siya for 12 months that equivalents to 20,000 per month. In this case, kung meron kang 2.4 million, your family can survive for the next 10 years with a 20,000 peso monthly, let's say, uh, allowance. Now, let's have here a detailed computation using the DIME method to compute how much insurance coverage do you need. Your insurance coverage should be equal to the responsibility and should be separated from other insurance of your spouse. So let's say, um, meron kang utang for 100,000. Your income replacement is 2.4 million. Mortgage mo is uh, 500,000. Education is 1 million. Yung 1 million na to is dedicate mo sa iyo mga anak. Now, your, your spouse should also have the same thing. Let's say, that niya is, let's say, 100,000, income replacement is 2.4, mortgage is zero, and then education is 1 million. So as you can see here, we have 4 million and then 3.5 million. The 4 million here is the um, total coverage of the insurance that you should have. Okay? Same goes with your wife or your spouse. Number four reasons. Hindi ko kailangan kasi healthy naman ako. I have here the top 10 fatal diseases in the Philippines. Now, we can never tell whether meron kang heart disease, hypertension, stroke, pneumonia, and so on and so forth. So, 
as much as possible, it's best that you prepare or you have uh, a life insurance to ensure na whatever happens to you, your family is safe. Because you love your family, you'll get life insurance. Because life insurance is about taking care of your loved ones, creating a source of saving, peace of mind, help achieve long-term goals, supplement your retirement goals, tax saving purpose, and dealing with death. So again, this is your financial educator, Haji Tehuko. Thank you for watching my video. So if you have any questions, please send me an email at haji.tehuko.gmail.com or search me at Facebook, Haji Javier Tehuko. You could also visit my page at hajitehuko.xcodeph.me. So thank you and see you again.